Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 8 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x, this is equal to 64. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent a solution from here. We have 8 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x, this is equal to 64. 8 to the power of x is common, so this implies that we can factor out 8 to the power of x, so that 8 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of x, this is 1, plus 8 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of x, this is 1, this is equal to 64. So this implies we have 8 to the power of x times 1 plus 1, this is 2, and this is equal to 64. So let's divide both signs by 2, so that now, 8 to the power of x, this is equal to 64 divided by 2, and this is equal to 32. The next step is that we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3, and we can express that 2 as 2 to the power 5. So let's substitute this. We have 2 to the power 3 raised to the power x, this is equal to 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power 3 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power n. Applying this exponent property from here, this implies we have 2 to the power of x raised to the power 3, this is equal to 2 to the power 5. So we can multiply x and 3 here, so that we have 2 to the power of 3x, this is equal to 2 to the power 5. Since the bases are common here, that is 8 to the power of n, this is equal to 8 to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then this means that if the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that from here, we have 3x is equal to 5. So let's divide both signs by 3, so that now x is equal to 5 over 3. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that x equal to 5 over 3 satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 8 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x this should give us a value of 64. Let's substitute x so that we have 8 to the power of 5 over 3 plus 8 to the power of 5 over 3. This should give us a value of 64. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So that now here we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 5 over 3 then plus 2 to the power of 3 multiplying by 5 over 3, this should give us a value of 64. So let's simplify here, 3 and 3 simplifies, so that we have 2 to the power of 5, plus 3 and 3 also simplifies here, so we have 2 to the power of 5, this should give us a value of 64. Now, 2 to the power of 5, this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, times 2 times 2, and this is equal to 32. So we have 32 plus 32, this should give us a value of 64. So 32 plus 32, this is equal to 64, which is equal to 64. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x, which is equal to 5 over 3, satisfies the equation. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.